Hello guys, and welcome to episode 86 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign, playing as Isabella von Karstein, leading the Vampire Counts to world domination. Today, we are continuing after pushing deep into Cathay's lands. We have utterly annihilated multiple of their armies, and we're only going to continue to do that more today. So, let's start by taking Bei Chai here with Ulrich. We'll take the order resolve. That is going to give us a pair of victory, but it's absolutely fine. We'll keep the reliquary and probably just going to pop in the vampire crypts and walls. Actually, what's this? Salt. Okay, we'll get rid of that. That's fine. Right, then Chelfroy. Chelfroy might as well just zoom up here. He can go for High Chai. Okay, Morath Morphin is going to come down to Liju. We'll stay in friendly territory for this turn. We'll move on to Roderick. We're already back in the swing of things. Let's just go grab Brigon. Our expansion. Very, very rapid now. Not many armies left standing in our way, if I'm honest. Uh, let's pop this building in there. Maybe I can get some more Banshees into my armies should I need them. So Heinrich was going to go and take Huolatol. If that was like a weird order resolve, I would have just brought uh, Gains over. But it doesn't look like we need him. We're going to take Gains to Chakwa. Over to Midland. Right, are we in range to attack this army? We are. Okay, I'm going to attack the one that's like in the stance there. I'm going to assault this first as well. That was a failure. And that way they can't Ridiculous. retreat. Also, it means that I can squash these archers against the edge of the map. So let's jump on in, let this out. I think this is pretty much the only army that these guys are going to have. After which we can just take all their lands. Okay. So... We will just run towards the end of the map there. I'm not sure we'll make it in time, but we'll give it a go. I can't at least be able to get my bats into position. We've got the Vargolf that can zoom over there. It might be worth having her... No, we need her near the edge of the map. Just keep going. It's the Vargolf. I am 53 seconds. I think I'll have him come back. If they really want to fight, they can. And I'm going to buff the crap out of that. That should be a dead Grey Eagle. It's gone. <laughs> All right, in we go. Are they all coming through that one little bit there? That is jokes. My 
mortis engine. With haste! They not have loads of range units. I love the way that the next unit of archers came in got just splattered. That was kind of funny. Do another one though. Blood magic. <laughs> it's because it's flinging them out of the map. <laughs> it <laughs> that's funny because it flinged them out of the map. They um. Right, we'll end it before they disintegrate. <laughs> they instantly ran off, technically. <laughs> that was silly. Okay. And that did actually kill off quite a lot of them. It's a shame we're not going to chase them down. Tower of Stars is a good target for Meland. More sleep shine. What would have been perfect is if Warmond had actually got the assault units done. Alas, was not to be. Okay. Uh, oh, Milland himself can level up. So, yeah, he might as well move a little bit further over here. Hopefully, Eamon will just run back to the Tower of the Sun or something. Oh, they actually this do have another absurd. army. Oh, interesting. Okay. I thought that was their only one. Well, it's fine. It, it doesn't matter. Dealing with one of them is good enough for now. March. Death is only the beginning. Shame we're not in range. Raynor is zooming into the abyss. <laughs> Off you go. Actually, it might have been better to have him just continue down. Ah, that's fine, we can just send him back. <laughs> we'll just send him back. Alright, Shinmir. Great into Iron Storm, I think. And if Fregnus wants to go, he can have a go. Yes. My bloodline calls. We'll keep Lenart yes. in the Fortress of Eyes for now, just because he really needs to replenish his forces. These might as well merge. <laughs> Let me grab some more bats. She might get some wolves as well. Yes, my sire. Let's go for Penumbral Pendulum if you foe. Definitely want Wind of Death. Nice. She had a lot of skill points. We have Dread Knights. We probably want the Who bonuses the for Vargolf's face? Deadly Power. Good.
Let's head over to Clara. Hopefully Clara can hit Bamboo Crossing. We'll take the Perry Victory. Onwards to Marcus, who is going to take Blood Hall. Right. I'm just going to check if there's an army nearby that's a problem. No. Also, Razor Standard, I might as well put on something. I might put it on the Blood Knights, actually. Sleep with one eye open. Right, that should be the end of that faction. Yeah, the Blood Hall Coven. Nice and no. dead. Perfect. Right now we put walls in there, we kill that. Destroy that and that. Pop that in there. Okie dokie, who's next? Evo. We are in range to attack these. I mean, this is another case of... Let's just attack the army next to it. And then kill the reinforcements when they come in. It's just so silly that the AI do this. Like, oh, let's put an army that can't retreat next to another army, so I'm forced to reinforce into them. <laughs> this is a battle that we technically don't need to cheese, but in this case, it just makes it quicker, so... It would just be me running them down with the Varkovs anyway, so... Yeah. We're just gonna lock control group that, put it over here, and... Ah, voila. Left my terror guys behind. Alright. We need, like, 15 seconds for them to come in. Interesting. So far, so good. I don't think have any AoE attacks. It's really weird. Be much easier if I did. Technically, the more dungeons are AoE, but they are in a very good position right now. We just do like a unit of skeleton warriors behind them. Like, oh no, there's more of them. We can just end it there. They were both in March Dance, so I think both the armies just die. Easy peasy. Awesome. 
Right, let's just go ahead and take the replenishment here. And yeah, both of those died. That was big. Actually, really big. Really, really big. Because that's two sizable armies that they're not going to have to re reinforce themselves anymore. Is there an army in here? Yeah, that's fine. Fine of the bearded skulls is ours. Lovely. What? Kind of sad that I can't re recruit. Brave guard, yeah, but we'll get there. Let's just do Undying Horde since he is replenishing this turn. Uh, Lenart's chilling, so Dillo is next. Actually, maybe what would be a good idea is sending a Dillo. Oh no, he's miles away. I was going to say send him back over here, but that's a long way to go. That's fine. I'm really curious how much it would cost me to take Antok. Like to buy it from them. Do you bring body parts for Scrag? Like it's minus 38. The economic value is very high for them. What about the Golden Tower? Oh, that's even more. Okay. Uh, what about, was that Libaris? Is that? Yeah. Yeah, so Antok's actually the cheapest. With Bernard, he's already got all of that maxed out. Level 45. We should probably give him life leeching. Minus base miscast chance is actually pretty important. Brave times. Also, purple sun is pretty important. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, yeah, we'll do Pandem Pender Pandem Pender we'll get evasion, and then he can actually get some spells going. Alright. Uh, there's also unassigned skill point there. Actually, we'll go survivalist. Lara, Animus, and we want bonuses for more Sengens. Nice building upgrades available. I don't think we're going to do that. We'll go to Commandments. We'll go Harvest Corpses there. Harvest Corpses here. Repress Mortals there. And that is it. Alrighty, moving on. Nice. This is Miao Ying going for Dita. This is pretty good, actually. We should be able to get on top of the firing rockets nice and easy. We can get on top of the crane gunners. We just smash the original army and then deal with the Sakamon. Yeah, should be fine. All right. Let's start the battle. Uh, we can probably just jump straight into this. I'm going to keep all my cavalry center. I'm probably just going to charge at them. Because the likelihood is they're going to fall right back here. Yeah, they're right at the back of the map. So let's just go and get them. Oh, get them. Right, we don't want to charge with those. We'll charge into the front with those ones. 
These ones can go around the outside. Absolutely smashing them. That's what we like to see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Brutal. Also, I'm pretty sure these had charge defense, so I kind of <laughs> got wrecked there by the peasant long spears, which is kind of funny. Alright, second army's arrived. It's okay. Right, let's just engage the Jade Lancers in the sky there. Yes. We should absolutely disintegrate them. Gonna spawn some zombies. We can send them forwards. Meanwhile, let's just get some healing going. All right, time to kill a dragon. Mao Ying won't last two seconds with all of these surrounding her. Oh, my bats are actually gonna die. That's okay. She is chunking that particular unit. I just want to make sure she's surrounded. My infantry finally arrived. Should make sure the Mortis engine's engaged as well. Spiral Leech plus the Vargas attacking could mean she is very dead. She's trying to get away, but she's like, can't fly through the blob. And she's gone. <laughs> and she's gone. Alright, let's take out the Sky Lanterns. Uh, I should probably save these if I can, since they're relatively high rank. Not spare leech them. <laughs> Good, they recovered. And that'll do. It's just the war drum. We'll bring them in the middle. And get some nice invocations going. Alright, there we go. That was actually really good. Oh, I lost my x-rays. I didn't realize that. That's okay.
Uh, we can just replace them with another cavalry unit if there is any. Okay, they came back. Dead rise again. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we'll just take the replenishment. And that killed off another couple of armies. So, yeah, really, really helpful that when it, whenever the AI attacks us, it just saves us time. It really does. Welcome thee. Weak-willed for misrule. Would like peace treaty. We're going to say no. Hopefully they attack us. They did have an army nearby. Like they're not going to. Um, Yao Ying is defeated. Good. And Dita also got seasoned campaigner. That's really good. Alright, Isabella needs to chase Count Noctilus. It's kind of annoying that <laughs> that wasted so much movement range. I'm gonna take this settlement so that we are closer to taking the gold, the godless crater, and then we'll mark and just take Mount Tho. Alright, over to Warburg. Uh, Warburg might as well take Shingpo. Occupy that. Replace units. Oh, there's actually a raised Deadpool here. Interesting. All right, let's boot them. What is she bonused for? Evil souls, canris, really. It's fine. Add a couple more. All right. Not quite in range to attack the settlement. We'll just stay in friendly territory so we get replenishment and then we can attack it next turn. Mora can take Liju. This better be important. Who's next? Volka. The Volka and the Roderick did so much damage. What? Volk is actually in range to attack Nangal, which is big. I think he could probably do that as well. And then we have these two armies actually near each other. My will does not bend. Maybe we just double team these. Bats and wolves gather. We can count we can kill Miao Ying on the way through. Which is kind of funny to say. Soon I'll be all powerful. And then if I Shuffle am in range to attack this, this guy. Important. Ah, that wouldn't work. It's annoying. They will serve. Because he's not in range to attack this either. Yeah, we'd have to do it, Volka. Okay. Uh, we'll have to wait next turn to Nangal. This is uh, too big of an opportunity to miss. Because I can d demolish this army very easily. Yeah, we got to do it. So Volka can come and attack this guy. This should be a, a good battle. Alright, let's jump on in. Fight it out. See how it goes. Because we are the aggressor, this map actually works out pretty well in our favour. I can split up into a few groups. That'll be group two. And then we have like group three over here. Under K. 
Alright, let's go. And because we're the attacker, our reinforcements coming in behind them is way better than their reinforcements coming in behind mine. They want to be static with all their range units, whereas I don't. So we just dive on in. Kill the horseman on the flank there, that's fine. Interesting, all those range units just like ran into my life. Let's have the doggos go for the grand cannons. The rest can go for the jade warrior crossbowmen. My reinforcements are finally here. And the original army will just be completely wiped out by the time the reinforcements get here. We got all this cow that's like running down from the hills. It's like the rise of Rohan <laughs> coming in off the top of the hill. We're gonna have a big old battle over here. He's not a dragon yet. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the bats to go say hi to the fire rain rocket. We're gonna have all of the Vargais go and say hi to the ranged forces. We're going to have her go and hit the balloons. Oh, he's gone into Dragon Ball now. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to press tab to like give multiple orders to the same select group. Let's see, it doesn't work in Warhammer. I'm just used to doing it in other games. What if it did work? Anyway, that balloon, we might as well finish it off, to be honest. Where are my bats at? And why have they not done their job? I gave them an order specifically to go all the way around the edge here, and they just ignored me. Classic. Oh, 
Right, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to get all of the Vargas together. And that way we can AoE heal them all. And that is victory. He's doing a runner. Get him. I was planning to charge these into the back of that melee, but looks like the melee ended before that happened. Jolly good. All right. That was really, really nice. Just getting off as much as I can because Ming's army is uh, not in march stance. So killing off these Celestial Dragon Guard, for example, good idea. Alright, we'll end it there. That should be enough. And a really, really nice battle. The really nice thing about this battle is it kind of felt much more tactical than normal. Just because I'd made those like three groups to split them and then like attack from all sides, it was really good. Oh, okay, so we get the plus five armor here on Volka. And we can also get it on Roderick. Because I can do this. That's perfect. There we go. Very nice. So we can also do this. Okay. Your last mistake. We chilling. Very good. So that's pretty much entirely destroyed the rest of Zhao Ming's western provinces, right? There's no more big armies. There's one kind of building in the Bridge of Heaven, but that's okay. Just going to move Hamlin near this. And then we can get a nice low casualty. <laughs> Say that. Say that. that still took a lot of damage. Not going to build the other building, the Vampire Crypts. I'm going to really restrain on, on spending money. Everything dies. Uh, Red Duke can take Bridge of Heaven, so let's just have Amnon go it for Chiyama's rest. Didn't realise it was in range. Ah, uh, whatever. Order Resolve. <laughs> hey, what's this? Corrupted Standing Stones, plus 10% research rate. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to get it at level 3, though. Darkness comes. Wow. That is good raised Deadpool. How many... We can get... There's two of these. We can put one in this army, and then another one in Almangor's army. I feel like I should almost just get rid of the Vargeist and get rid of the Graveguard and just go like all out on Vargolfs. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's just take these off. Mainly because we're going to have Purple Sun. And Purple Sun will do a lot of damage uh, to Brave Guard in particular. If it goes astray. So if we stick to single entities, it won't matter so much. Let's level these up quickly. He got a corpse cart, I'm going to take him off it, just because it's kind of silly. Put him on a nightmare. Uh, let's give him a city of blade. I have so many obsidian lodestones. Husband of preservation. <laughs> I'll have that. For sure is good. And then enchanted item. Needs armor as well. Give him an armor of fortune. That's a good enchanted item. Arcane items. Enchanted items. That'll do. Alright, moving on to Roderick. Uh, Roderick. Heading back down to Zahutek. Needs to deal with Emil. Right, let's just walk into his face. Felix is taking Chakwa. Kinda don't want to play this out, but it feels like we're gonna have to. Yeah. Okay. Well, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. Next time around, uh, we will attack Chakwa. And then we can carry on to the Sacred Pools. Uh, we've got uh, Roderick, obviously, is going to take care of Emil for us. And we're going to have to look at when we want to deal with the Awakening, the Awakened. Uh, because they also got to go at some point. I mean, we're, of course, allied with them right now, but yeah, we'll see. That is it for now, though. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. It's been good fun. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,